How's it going guys? My name is Dominic, I'm for you guys today. I'm just bringing you our most current clan war, a little recap on it. Just showing our struggles in this current clan war. So as you can see at the moment we are 32 to 31 in this 15 to 15 war. We have both used 21 attacks if I show you there. And so just, yep, I've only been one star at the moment. I think I will get freed eventually but just to bring you some replays here. So first replay will go to Ash's defense. First thing you see here is, if you will maybe, I don't know if you notice it yet, there is another glitch. Um, again, if you, I'll give you a few seconds to notice it, maybe you won't, but once this guy starts the raid, as you, I'll just pause it, just check the Archer Queen, she hasn't moved for the past 10 seconds or something. And yes, she is stuck again. In the most recent update, they did say that they are going to remove this her getting stuck glitch but I guess they haven't really done too much to fix that so yep the queen is stuck and this really does contribute to the three star on this on his base so there's one part of our unluckiness and again I think again it's the same cause the queen is placed on top of two teslas and she gets stuck due to the fact that there are two teslas underneath her and she can't really move but yep this does contribute so heavily on this attack and just gives this guy an easy three star rate so as you can see like his most of his troops for example his archer queen has gone towards the right and his balloons his balloons are just gonna survive without even doing anything look there are no lava hounds left and the queen would have taken out a good sum of those balloons but she dies off there from all the splash damage from those bombs and she's done nothing this raid and it was really unfortunate to us that this guy gets 3 starred by a Golar Loon, by another Town Hall 9, oh no it's a Town Hall 10 attacking, my bad, but still it's just the fact that he's never been 3 starred by a Golar Loon and to get 3 starred by a glitch, it's not really nice. And for our second attack here we have Ken, our Town Hall 9.5, he has gone Town Hall 10 but he's not building any Town Hall 10 defences, so he is a Town Hall 10 9.5. So yep, as you can see he goes in, he's going in with the Golar Loon attack strategy as well. Coming in from the bottom of his base, level 31 Archer Queen, level 30 King. He's worked his way so well to Town Hall 10 and just we'll see how he does in his in this attack on a fairly max Town Hall. On a max Town Hall 9, except troop, except heroes and walls. So he starts off here, it's a good start, I think. No, the golem, all the golems died, but he is getting rid of that queen. His archer queen is, both his heroes are getting really low on health, and, but, it is looking quite good at the moment. Um, Yep, queen is, because she's a level 31 queen, she's standing strong for so long, that like my queen level 12 would die off within seconds to those expos and cannon. But anyway, so this attack here, um, he's Pele, he's place now down all his lava hounds it is good still two lava hounds left on one air defense strong health still and he still has one more air defense to go and he saved plenty of balloons he does pre put those balloons for the brilliant time in there and that last lava hound pops but he still has a rage spell and that rage spell looks on course to get those balloons right on top of that air defense and destroy it actually Yep, okay, so now the air defense is destroyed. So now all that's left is just to clean up this rest of the base. But as you can see, there is two skeleton air, air skeletons which are causing a real pain to these balloons as the balloons cannot do nothing about these. The lava pops up on the other side of the base and one minute, five seconds left. One minute, well, I'm speeding this up now. This is actually how long, this is actually how long he has. So at this stage, he had 40 seconds left. 10%, 9% within 37 seconds. It looks he's looking on course for that three star, and all looks good at the moment. So 20 seconds left, 15 seconds left. The town hall is still yet to go down. 10 seconds left of this raid, and now this looks really bad. The town hall is not going down. Two seconds left, and bang, another unlucky raid. So, yep, this war has not gone well for us at all, even though we're winning, but... Oh, what's this now? Alright, so I might as well bring you this live defense. 
Well, okay, so I'm gonna be commentating on this live as well. So, yep, we have a Town Hall 9 attack me with a Go Hog attack strategy. So, sorry for that. Let's see how this goes. So, my dragon's gone down. I was gonna bring you a live attack, but this video is gonna be too long, so I might bring you the live attack in a different video. So, yep. So he's done the first part, he has to show my queen, but he has placed down his hogs on the opposite side, which I don't usually do. I place down my hogs along with my queen and that, so that they can try and save my queen from dying. As you can see there, the queen's dead, and all he has left now is hogs. Um, the giant bomb. I don't know how this looks at the moment. I don't even know where my own giant bombs are. But this is looking brilliant at the moment for my defense and I'm really happy with that. So 47% and it looks on course. It is a fail attack. So that is brilliant. And yep, that's a brilliant thing. So just from all that bad luck we've had, we've had a little glimmer hope of good luck there. So just before I end this video, I'm just going to wait 3 hours and 12 minutes and then bring you guys the final outcome of this war. And let's just hope we won. So as we conclude this war, oops, wrong one. There we go. Yes, we did win by one. So that was amazing. That was a real tight ending. We were very worried if our number five would have attacked. Due to the fact that our number eight here, I can, did not put a single attack. He did get kicked by me. But that this war was real intense. If our number five did use his final attack and went low for our number 11, for example, this war would have been a draw definitely. So thankfully we won that. Awesome win, awesome to put that onto our warlock, which puts us up to a seven win streak now, I think that is. Seven win streak, yes. So now it's just our most current war, which is looking like a real tough one. But anyways, that's it from me, guys. Hope you enjoyed this war recap. It was stressful seeing those glitches, the one star 99%, but overall we got the win and that's what we came for. So that's it from me, guys, and peace.